I'm going to teach you the top 10 chord progressions in modern music and the easiest way to make them so that by the end of this video, your chord progressions will sound like this. Before we jump in, I'm giving away a hundred thousand MIDI chord progression files. Comment down below chord mastery. I select one winner out of the first 300 comments. Let's jump in. So let's just go through some piano fundamentals real quick so that we can create these chords. I have my piano here. I have these 12 notes in between C and B and these notes repeat up and down the piano over and over again. Now each one of these notes has a group of seven notes which we create chords and melodies. This is also known as a key. So the key of C major has these seven notes. Each of these notes has a specific chord that goes along with it. And all a chord is, is two or more notes played at the same time. This is a chord. This is also a chord. And we'll get to these in a second. So the key of C, the first note is a C. And from this, we're gonna make a C major chord using a simple strategy. So you find your root, which is a C. You count three notes in between, one, two, three. And then you count two notes in between, one, two. And there you go, voila, a C major chord. Very simple. So going from this, the second note in the key of C is a D. And this is gonna be a minor chord. So you count two notes, one, two, one, two, three. And voila, you have a D minor chord. So I've already laid out the seven notes in the key of C and the specific major or minor or diminished, which is this chord right here. I start with the B and I count up one, two, one, two, three. And that's a B diminished chord. So with these chords, I can start putting them together to make chord progressions. Now, while we go through the top 10 chords, I'm gonna show you one trick per chord progression that you can use right away. The first chord is gonna be a G major, D minor, F, and C. We'll link these all together and let's listen to this chord as is. So this is an inspirational chord, but we need to make it better. So the first thing I'll do is take these notes right here and I will jump them up an octave. It already sounds more open and better. What I also wanna to do to thicken up these chords is I'm gonna take this root note right here and bring them down an octave. Let's listen in. What you can also do is add the middle note and make these power octave chords on the bottom, which all it is, if you have a G chord, the fifth is a D, so I'll find my D. And now these have a little bit more texture at the bottom. So that was our first chord progression, and as we go through the progressions, we're gonna do different tricks, right? So the next chord I wanna walk through is a very common chord. It is an A minor F, C, G. This is a very, very popular chord progression, but what we're gonna do with it is we are going to add a different types of flavors with the chords. So we'll do the same thing we did in the last chord progression. We'll take our middle note and jump it up an octave. But what I wanna do is I wanna take this F chord right here and make it a major seventh chord. So all I have to do to do that is I find my F and I use the three, two, three strategy. So I count three notes, one, two, three, here we go. One, two, and one, two, three. And I'll draw that in right here. So I just need to find an E. And right here I play the notes. And it already sounds pretty cool. Now, the other decoration that I want to add to this chord is a cluster chord. So this C right here, I'm gonna go back to my piano. And to make a cluster chord, this is a C major chord. I'm gonna add this D right here. And if you take the D and bring it up an octave, it has a very beautiful sound to it. So what I'm gonna do for this D chord right here is I'm gonna find a D. And now we have an F major seventh and a C add two, also known as a C cluster chord. And we can slow this down a little bit and we can make these chords a little bit more full. So I'll do the same tactic here. Take my root note down, and if we listen, which is way more advanced than the simple triads that we had. 
We can also add the consistent note. Now, normally whenever you're creating chords in the key of C major, you can use the C note and play it in almost every chord and it'll sound good. So there's a C here. I can add a C here. I can add a C here. And then I can add a C here. Now let's listen to how this sounds. And just like that, using the number one note in the key of C major, we've already made these chords better. So moving on to here, I'm gonna go in and we're gonna show you another trick. We're gonna start with an F major, E minor, A, and then C. Let's take these notes and play them together. And I'm gonna show you a substitution trick here. Here's the chord progression. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this E minor chord and make it a major chord, just like that. So it adds a little bit of spice to the progression. I'm gonna take this note and bring it up an octave. And what I wanna do is I wanna make this last C major chord a C dominant seventh chord. So the way to create that chord is I go right here, I use the three, two, and then two. So it has this feel to it. Now this chord is used a lot in pop, R&B, neo soul. So I just need to find a B flat. I'll slow this down a little bit and let's hear how this sounds. Used by Ariana Grande and a lot of different artists. So I did two things here. I substituted a minor chord for a major chord and I took our last C chord and made it a C dominant chord. That's what we did for this progression right here. Now, moving on to the next progression, I wanna make a darker progression. So I'm gonna add in some minor chords to start. I'll bring the A minor chord in here. I'll bring the D minor chord in here. I'll bring the F and then I'll bring the E. So let's hear this progression. What I'm gonna do is move around the notes a little bit. And what I wanna do is I wanna take this E and make it an E sharp. So here we go. And using that substitution for this chord, the major to minor is another very powerful tactic. And again, you can combine more minor chords to have a sadder progression or more major chords to have a happier progression. So the next chord progression I'm gonna get into here has a couple interesting things going on. So when I look at my piano here, a perfect fourth is four notes in between each note, right? So if I want a perfect fourth from an A, I go from an A, I count one, two, three, four notes in between, and I go to D. So this chord, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump around using perfect fourths. So I want whatever chord is in the key of C for A, D, E, F, C, and F. So you see what I mean? The A goes here, the D goes here, the G goes here, the C goes here, and then the F goes here. And then what I wanna do is I'm gonna jump back down to my D, and then I'm gonna jump to this E chord right here. So there's a couple things going on. Let me just play the chord for you. And as you'll see, it jumps from perfect fifth to perfect fifth for the root note, which is just pretty interesting to see. Let's play through this chord real quick. Now let's do a couple things to it. So the first thing I wanna do is take this last chord, which is an E minor chord, and I want to make it an E major chord, which we've done already, but I wanna create more tension. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually extend this out a little bit more, and I'm gonna bring this here. And then what I'll do is I'll make an E sus4 chord. So what you can do to create this tension is use the E sus4, and if you listen here to how this sounds, and it has a really nice tune to it, right? So it has that suspension going to the ending. So this chord progression right here, something else that we can do is we can add in some seventh chords. So this D chord right here, if we just bring it up on the piano, is a D minor chord. So why don't we make it a D minor seventh chord? Just add in the two more right here, and it has that nice vibe to it. So if I go right here to the C, here we go.
and it has a cool vibe. Now something to note about seventh chords is it's actually a combination of a major and minor chord. So if you look at a C minor, uh, C major seventh, these are the notes. This is a C major chord <laughs> and this is an E minor chord. And when you combine them together, you basically combine a minor major chord to give you a different flavor, right? So that's what this chord progression has. Now going into the next one, this is gonna be more of a soul chord progression. And what we're gonna do is use the dominant seventh on our G. So we'll take the D minor here, take the G major, we will take the E minor and we'll take the A minor. And I wanna make these all seventh chords. So what I'm gonna do is just take the note that I know here from these three minor chords, and I'm just gonna bring this up to an E or a C, excuse me. So right here, here we go. Now something I like with chords is having them kind of flow together. If there's a huge jump up here with the chord, it sometimes doesn't sound good. And I don't think this transition sounds really that good. So the first thing I'm gonna do is jump a couple of these notes up, bring this one up, And I'll bring this A down here, just to give it some semblance. Let's hear this now. And then what I'm gonna do is this G chord right here, in order to make it a dominant seventh chord, I use the three, two, two. So I start with the G, one, two, three, one, two, and then one, two. It needs an F in there to create a little bit of that tension. So I bring the F. So basically you take a G major chord and you make it a G seven chord. Now that's that chord progression. The next one I'm gonna get into is going to be a walking up chord. So you can see as I'll walk up this chord progression right here, what I'm gonna do, and I'll combine these together, I will basically walk up here and we're gonna make this a little more complex. I'm gonna make these all seventh chords. So D minor, whoops, D minor and E minor here. I'll use that chord strategy, again, notes in between. I'll make this an F major chord. And then we have the G sus 13 chord, right? So this G needs to be now a G sus 13. Well, what the heck is that? You can pull up the chord guide and go grab it down below. A G sus 13 chord basically is, I find my root note, which is a G. So I'll bring up my piano here. That's a little loud. I'm gonna count down negative one notes in between. So I go to my F. And what I'm gonna do with this F is bring it up an octave. And then this F chord is gonna be a major seventh chord. If I play it down an octave, that note wants to resolve to the C. It creates that nice texture and nice suspension. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take, this is an F major chord, bring it here and just bring down the G. Right here. So we can even have these notes coming down here as a walking bass line. Now, where does that note go in the end? Well, that's up for you to decide. The next chord progression we're gonna go through here and we're almost done with our top 10 chord progressions in modern music is I'm gonna take this C major, this D minor, the C major, and then the F. So a very simple thing that you can do, and something that I like to do, is walk up the scale of C major and fill out different chords that aren't the exact root position chord. So a C major chord is like this, right? Now, if I take the C and bring it up an octave, this is called an inversion. So what we're gonna do to have a walking upwards bass line is take this chord right here, bring it up an octave, and now we're gonna walk up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna make this a D minor seventh chord. I'll make this a C chord like this. And now we have a consistent upwards note and a bottom note that goes up. And then we can actually walk down, if you want, the chords right here to go back to C. 
And it's a really cool way of just, again, it's a very simple chord, but it's very, very popularly used. And again, these simple tactics of inversion, seventh chords, whatever it may be, will help make your chords just sound a little bit more professional and better. And again, chords are, and chord progressions are the foundation of your song, right? The melody goes on top, but the chord builds that nice foundation. So let's give this a listen. It has a nice vibe to it, right? A lot of genres use that progression. Now we're gonna start to get into the probably more advanced chord progressions right here. So I'm gonna bring in this C major. I'll bring in this E minor right here. I'll bring in this A minor. And then I will just leave it to the G. So something that you can do with these chords right here, the third and the sixth, is make them both major number one. So that's the first step we'll do, is we'll take this middle note and bring it up. And then you can make them flat. So basically I take this E minor, I made it E major, and then I bring it down one half step. This is, you can use, again, when you have this chord lineup and you get it, you can do this in any key. I'll bring the A and bring it down one step. Now this goes into a little bit more complex music theory stuff, but just give this a listen to how this sounds. It has a cool, unique sound to it. So what I'll do is I'll bring this down an octave. I'll bring these notes, all major chords, and I'll make them all add two chords. So basically all you have to do, this is a C major chord. I need to make this a D to make it add two. And I'll bring that up an octave. Let's listen to this now. Or I could bring these notes down here if I want to. And there's a lot of cool things you can do with it, right? So I took that chord and what I did was I went from minor to major and then I took it down one half step and made it flat. Now you can also do this with this B diminished chord. This one sounds really, really good. And it's a little bit of a bonus. So I'll show you my favorite progression right here. I'll take this diminished chord and make it a major chord and then bring it down a half step. So I'll bring this in here and then I'll bring this one in here. This is a little bit of a bonus for you guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna combine this all together. And what I will do is I will make this E minor chord a major. I'll do the same thing with this chord. I'll do this chord as well. This is an A minor. I'll make it a flat major. And this is an F. So you see here, this chord, this chord, and this chord, I can make them major and then bring them down one. So the third chord, the sixth chord, and the seventh chord. Get the chord lineup and you'll get all this stuff, right? And now we can really decorate it, right? So let's bring this down an octave. And let's also make it have that middle note. Let's hear this. And these are really cool chords, right? So what I want to do is I want to make all of them add two. So I'm going to find the D here. Let me just find my top note because they're all in root position. So you can do this little daw trick. If we listen. Now, the problem is there's no notes up here. So the voicing is a little funky. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find and cluster these, these notes up. And now this sounds really beautiful, right? This is an E flat chord. So I'll bring the G here and I could bring maybe make this this. can maybe make this an E major ninth chord, which I will get into. And again, I'm just going a little crazy here with this. So once you get all these extensions, suspensions, and all these chord types, right, which you can get in the chord guide for free, you can get the MIDI chord kit for free, all down below, and make sure you comment chord mastery to have a chance to win that 100,000 MIDI mega library that I've created. You can make chords like this, right? I just gave you the top 10 chord progressions in pretty much all of modern music that I've studied, thousands of songs. These progressions appear regularly. And I've also given you tricks and tactics to really make them your own, right? So you can take these chords, you can mess around with them in the DAW, and you'll be able to make cool stuff. 
So that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below again, Chord Mastery to have a chance to win. And also for the next video, check out my top seven lo-fi chord progressions. These go into some really advanced chord progressions. If you enjoyed this video, you're definitely gonna love it. So anyway, comment down below Chord Mastery. Thank you so much for watching. Also let me know what else you wanna learn. And that's gonna conclude this video. So I will see you in the next video.